How's it going guys? My name is Tyler Anderson and welcome back to the Yamaha Boating Academy. You know, the topic of today's video is going to be the topic of how to drive safely and properly with a boat and a trailer attached to your car or truck. You know, I think uh, as, as a new boater, it can be a daunting and scary thing to think about driving with a trailer down the highway to get from your house to the boat ramp, but it's really not that scary as long as you follow these five steps. Step number one, make sure you have your trailer properly attached to your truck. I think the majority of issues happen on the highway when someone is towing when they do not have the boat properly attached. So let's teach you guys how to make sure you have your boat attached to your truck correctly every single time. So the process of connecting your truck to your trailer is actually pretty simple, uh, but it's of course a few things that are very important to understand. Uh, first of those, you wanna make sure you lower your trailer properly and that it fits, uh, the cup of the trailer fits snugly onto uh, the ball of the trailer hitch. And of course, whatever locking mechanism you have on the top of your trailer, you wanna make sure you lock or shift that down and, and put the pin through, that way your trailer is not going anywhere. Uh, of course, for added security, make sure you put the clips uh, and, the, and the metal straps and chains uh, from the trailer underneath the truck or car or whatever you have. Uh, and then as well, plug in your electric cable that controls uh, your turn signals, your brakes, anything else electric on your trailer itself. So the final four steps I'm going to combine into kind of one general phase, and that is safety out there on the road. Safety is paramount, not just for you uh, and your watercraft as you're driving down the road, but also for anybody else that shares the road with you. You want to make sure that you're being safe, and these four steps will definitely help you do that. So once you have, like I mentioned in step number one, the trailer properly attached to the truck, the first thing to make sure you're aware of uh, is that you are, are, are operating a truck in a vehicle that is longer than usual. And so of course that'll take you longer to brake than you would uh, without a, a trailer behind you and longer to accelerate. And so the number one rule that I have is that you should drive slower. I'm not saying drive slow uh, down the highway like a grandma. I'm just saying that you wanna drive slower than you would on average without a trailer. Uh, you know, even if you have electric brakes or surge brakes on your, your boat trailer, you still wanna make sure just to be kind and courteous to those around you that you are staying in the right lane if possible and driving slower than you normally would just for the safety of everybody. Tip number three is to make sure that you can, when safely and when possibly, make wider turns. You know, when you have your car without a trailer, you can make pretty wide turns, U-turns are very easy, uh, and of course any sort of turns on the highway are very, very simple. But when you have a, a trailer behind you, especially one as long as my FXR 21-foot bass boat, you're gonna have a lot longer of a trail behind you, much like you're playing Snake back in the day on the computer, that every time you turn, it's going to follow you and usually follow wider or more narrow than your car or your truck is. So you wanna make sure that you're making wider turns when applicable and when possible. Tip number four is make sure that you know your navigation and your route before you even leave the parking lot because you wanna make sure that you have every detail taken care of. Uh, one of the hardest things to do is if you're on a big highway and you have to merge from all the way on the left to all the way on the right, several lanes of traffic, uh, it is very, very difficult to do that when you have a trailer behind you. And telling you guys from personal experience, not a lot of people out there have ever driven a trailer and so welcome to the, welcome to the club. Uh, but those people normally don't have uh, much of a clue as to how hard it is to merge lanes and to make turns. And so just for the sake uh, of making it easier for those on, on sharing the roadway with, with you, uh, make sure that you know your navigation, you're in the proper lane uh, way ahead of time. That way you can make the turns as, uh, as safely as possible. The last tip, tip number five that I have, is it kind of goes hand in hand with tip number four, but you want to make sure that as you're driving around, you are looking with both your eyes and of course doing any pre-planning you can to make sure to avoid or plan well for places such as driveways, parking lots, or anything else, you know, gas stations, anything else that could cause you to be in a position where you might get stuck, where you pull into an area and you have a lot of, a hard time backing out. You want to make sure you minimize those experiences, both for you, everybody in your car, and everybody around you. Just make sure that you have uh, an, an escape route per se with your truck and your trailer uh, that way you're never getting stuck in any situation all right guys so now that we have the trailer properly attached to the truck and we have of course the navigation on my gps ready to go uh, i say we hop in the truck and we'll see you guys next time on yamaha boating academy